got a small haul for you from Poundland. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and I do lots of shopping, so much shopping. And I do uh, unboxings and I um, do some fashion things. I, I think I'd like to do a bit more fashion. I think I've got a few ideas on the go for that one. But anyway, if that's the kind of thing that you like, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. Aren't I hopeless? I can't even stay on subject just while I'm doing the whole, you know, if you like me nonsense. <laughs> But I popped to Poundland, I'm going to try and stay on. <laughs> I popped to Poundland and I picked up a few bits. It's not a monster shop, but it was a good one. First up, some more books. You know how I feel about books for the kids. And these are Paw Patrol. All the kids love Paw Patrol. So this one is Pups Save the Soccer Game. Pups Save the Royal Throne. And Pups Save the Runaway Kittens. One each, a pound each. I mean, <laughs> bound is nothing. And they are beautiful quality books. I have to say, they really are. I've never yet been disappointed with a book from Poundland. So the kids get one each. Another thing for the kids, I've been on the hunt high and low for washable poster paints for the kids to use. You used to be able to get it everywhere, but everywhere seems to do the ready mixed poster paints, but it's not washable. Then I saw this ultra washable it's peculiar colors i have to say guys you know i was expecting red and whatever and it's not it's um green and purple uh blue there's a, a white um yeah nice blue am i right in saying look at the green <laughs> So, I mean, they're great colours, but they're not all the colours that, that the kids would like. I mean, you know, not having red in it is a bit bonkers. But I thought, I'm going to get it, I'm going to try it, and if it works, then this is the brand that I will be searching for, for washable paints for the kids to play with. <laughs> oh, and that was 2 .99. Can you see how hot I am? Am I glowing? <laughs> This is the second video and the first one, what a disaster. I don't know how I'm going to put it together. It's my uh, B&M one, which you may have already seen. And hopefully I can tack it together because I was stopped three or four times while doing it by tumble dryers, people at the door and the dogs. I picked up two more of these, again for my younger daughter. When she saw I had them, she was like, I want some. These are these little umbrellas, lace umbrellas that you open up and you put over plates of food. They were a pound each. I bought myself some. She wanted some, so I picked her up too. <laughs> Look at that. Bray Rabbit. Not Bray Rabbit, Peter Rabbit. Bray Rabbit. It was a pound. On the back it says, hop to the beat. It's just another wash rag for the kids. I just, you can't have too many of them. As I've said before, the little ones, she likes to suck on them. Whereas the big ones, you know, they put shaving foam on it. They get to daddy's shaving foam. They've also got all their different soaps and things and they end up so slimy and disgusting. And then I see little madam sitting there sucking on it. So I picked up <laughs> Pizza Rabbit for a pound. I picked myself up two foot packs. Foot packs, foot masks. These are the deep moisturising honey and almond. They're not meant to make your feet peel or anything like that. They just moisturise. I think these are lovely. And it's one of the self-care things that I, I remember to do because, of course, we wear sandals. Or in my case, like, I wear a lot of flip-flops and Birkenstocks, that kind of thing. And our feet get hard and dry and sort of dusty looking. I love these. I will quite happily sit with one of the, you know, a set of these on my feet while I'm watching the TV. And they really do soften your feet. They're really such a lovely treat. They have my nails in. Oh, holy grail, holy grail. Oh. So I got two packs of the short almond stick on nails. That were, I haven't been wearing any just lately because I've been doing painting projects and things, but things will settle down and I can go back to having nice looking hands. I bought my Nick a t-shirt. I saw this t-shirt and it just spoke to me of my hubby on holidays. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty enough for a woman to wear, but it's a lovely sort of mauvey pink and it's got all the tropical leaves on it and everything. Um, it was only £3.50 and I just thought that was too, too nice to leave behind. 
So Nick actually got a little treat this time for the boys. Spider-Man hoodies, zip through Spider-Man hoodies. Uh, this time of the year, you know, we live in the UK, don't we? So at the moment, we're all walking around in shorts and little sundresses and short sleeves. But our evenings can be chilly and our mornings can be. I mean, the, in the morning here, this morning, for example, it was really quite grey looking. And we were like, hmm, is that the sun gone? But the sun has burnt the cloud off and now it's really, really hot. Blue skies, fabulous. But you need layers. And with kids, it's much easier if they zip through these were i'm just checking that they were both the same price because the different sizes hang on hang on because sometimes i get caught out by that no they were six pounds each and i think they're great and more importantly the kids think spider-man is great i got myself a box of mint matchmakers for a pound i'm so glad i did considering all that chocolate melted in the um the b m haul <laughs> for little baba girl for my lara I got her such a pretty little t-shirt. Look how cute that is. Minnie Mouse, she is ready to go. She's packed her case. She's got her glittery bow. I just thought that was too cute for words. Um, and that was £2.50. I mean, £2.50 for a t-shirt like that. That is, oh, is bonkers value. And I also picked up, and this is probably mad, ladies, because this is really white. I saw it, I loved it, I couldn't help myself. It's a little set. It's got this little white cotton blouse, shorts, no sleeves, little frill collar. It's kind of um, balloons out a little bit. I mean, the fact that it's white, I, I must be bonkers, but I just saw it and loved it. And with it comes these gorgeous little gingham shorts that it just, I couldn't not buy it. You know, it was one of those where I thought, a mother will bless me for white. I'll end up having to flipping boil it, I expect. And it was six pounds. It was only a small haul, as I say. I picked up two packets of um, serviettes, napkins, whatever you want to call them. They're selling them off at the moment, these ones. They're in this sort of almost a tie-dye fabric. They're 50 pence each at the moment. And there are 20 tissues in, or 20 napkins. These are going to be used outside. I just thought they were pretty. And, you know, when the kids have got an ice cream, you can put it around the handle. And so 50 people, 20, I was happy. I also picked up for my sunburnt body, Johnson Soft and Pamper Body Wash. I found that some of my body washes, because I've burnt and I, I'm sort of, I'm not peeling. I've, I've managed to avoid the peeling, but I was sort of itchy. Some of my, um shower gels just weren't hitting the spot so i thought let's go back to basics get something that says it is moisturizing this was really nice this one revives and hydrates for soft and smooth skin it's got pineapple and lily in it um they also do a rose one i think here we go let's try and have a sniff without shoving it oh it's bright yellow can you see oh but it does smell nice that does smell nice um it's infused with pineapple and lily aroma, reviving, leaving your senses awakened while hydrating your skin. So I thought, pick it up, give it a go. And then the last two things were things I had not seen before. There were these little wooden troughs, I suppose you'd call them. Uh, they say on them herb garden, rosemary, thyme and basil. They were a pound each. I managed to pick up two. <laughs> turn it round to I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use them yet but I will be using them in the nature room because it's wood it's great it's fabulous for carrying things around in and I mean you could use it with your plants in it which is what they intended it to be used for but I'm probably going to use it in a slightly different way just haven't quite pinpointed what way that will be anyway they were a pound each so on this visit, I only spent £41, but £41 got me a lot of things, and I was really pleased. A lot of the shelves were looking bare. Um, it was very busy when I went in. I wish I hadn't gone on quite such a busy day. Uh, people are now really feeling more comfortable about getting out and about, but um, there were people in there not wearing masks, there were people in there refusing to use the um, hand sanitizer, and they were 
there were too many people um i felt a little bit uneasy so i kind of whizzed around i grabbed the obvious things but i didn't do my normal browse and think so um i'm gonna have to pick a different time of day to go i think or a different day to go and um and then i might do even better but i was still really pleased 41 pounds for everything that i got yes please <laughs> anyway that's me uh that's video number two of the day i'm gonna do another one in a minute because I am so far behind, ladies. Um, and then I can go and have a relax outside. My youngest and grandbabies are back today, this evening. And my eldest and her husband are turning up tomorrow. So um, I have been running around getting things done in the house and not doing videos. So they've kind of backed up a little bit. So I'm catching up. Which, as you know, I'm not a, a fan of um, block filming. But needs must <laughs> anyway i'll see you soon bye guys